Hi everyone, and welcome back to part 16 on how to make a simulator game in Roblox. Before I start this tutorial, I just want to let you guys know that now I have a Patreon. So if you guys don't want to follow the, the tutor my tutorials or just want to support me, you can find all of my uh, tutorial game files um, on Patreon. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so in this video, we'll be finishing off all of the game passes. So what we're going to be doing is deleting the speed game pass thing because we don't need it anymore. And what we'll be doing is um, finding the script for the game pass. I don't think we... Yeah, I think we deleted the button. So now it does not have the game pass uh, script again. Okay, so just delete this button. That was just a mess. What we'll be doing this time is making an actual uh, Game Pass shop. So we'll uh, duplicate a button. I'm just going to duplicate this one. Put it right here. Uh, let's rename it to something like... Um, let's rename it to... Maybe... Uh, I'm really not sure. Let's rename it to store. And we will rename, we'll set the text to store. And what we'll be doing is making it so that when you click it, you uh, just select every single script on it. And what we'll be doing is adding a new script. And then exit all of the script and add a frame. This is going to be our, uh, basically our game pass shop. So I'm going to scale the frame up, put it right here. Uh, convert it to scale, set the background color to the background color of this. So we'll just copy the background color of this frame, uh, if I can actually find it. It says this one, so we're going to paste it here. And we're going to add a UI corner to the frame. So add a UI corner, set the radius to whatever you want. I'm just going to have that one comma zero. And now I'm going to rename this to Game Pass. Oh. And what we'll be doing now is adding a scrolling frame to this and making it bigger and we'll just make it even bigger and we'll change the background transparency to one and the border size pixel to zero and i will change the scroll bar thickness to zero or maybe one maybe five Okay, so we're going to convert it to scale 2 and we'll add a UI grid layout to it. And we will add a text button or an image button. So I'm going to add an image button. And I will set the UI grid. Duplicate this image button first so you can see what you're doing. And we'll set the Y grid layout cell size to scale instead of offset. And you want to change the scale to 0.1 or 0.2. And the off the scale on the uh, X to something like 0.3 or even more, 0.4. Or actually, let's change that to 0.2 and this to 0.15. Hmm, 0.15. Uh, 5 and this 2.25 and I'm also going to change this to center so I'm going to make it so that it starts from the center of the frame and what we're going to be doing now is only having one template because we'll have we'll start with a game pass called two times uh, clicks so I'm going to rename this to two times clicks and what you want to do is add a UI corner to it. I'm just making some basic UI right now. 0 0.1.0. And I'm going to change the image to whatever you want. I'm not going to have an image right now. And what I will be doing is adding a local script to it. In this local script, we'll get the marketplace service. So we're going to do local MPS is equal to game colon get service uh, marketplace service. And we'll get the player. So we're going to set that to game.players.local player and the mouse button one click event. So script.parent.mouse button one click, call and connect function and mps call and prompt the game pass purchase, uh, plr, comma, and 
the ID of the game pass. Now, to create a game pass, it's very, very simple. Uh, you just want to go to roblox.com slash home and you want to go to create. Select your game. For me, it's uh, pretty far, so I'll try to find it real quick. I think it's this, maybe. Even further. Okay, so it's probably here somewhere. Uh, I don't get why I still don't find it. Well, basically, you want to just select your place. Well, I'll be back when I actually find this. I'm just going to pause the video for now. Alright, so I am back. And the way you can create the game pass is go to the store. And I want to select your... First, add game pass. Ignore how I have that time speed thing. It's kind of useless right now. Uh, sorry if you guys heard the Discord message. I'm just going to look for some random image. And what I will be doing is renaming the past name to two times clicks. And to the description to something like you like, like gives you two times clicks. And press preview and press verify upload. Now you want to go to configure. You want to give a price to this. Something like one Robux should do. I want to go back to details. Select your uh, Game Pass ID, which is here. So just want to select this, uh, these numbers on the link. Now you want to go here and you want to paste in the ID. Or in fact, let's make this a variable. So it's easier, easier to change. So local ID is equal to that. And instead of we'll prompt the ID. Now, if you go ahead and play the game, hopefully this should work. If it doesn't, I'm pretty sure I know why that will happen. All right, so it does work. Great. What we'll be doing now is uh, making the game pass actually work. So we're going to rename this to prompt. Uh, prompt. And we'll add a... Uh, inside of your store script, we'll do local frame is equal to script.parent.parent.gamepass. Uh, shop and script up parent on mouse button on click got mouse button on click on connect function frame you can twin it if you want but I'm not going to do that it was not frame not visible okay so now we're gonna make sure that the frame is invisible and what you want to do is add a script to service script service rename it to monetization or rename it to game passes and what we're going to do is we're going to get marketplace service as always. Uh, marketplace service is equal to game, colon, get service, uh, marketplace service. And now you want to get the player service. So we're going to set that to game, colon, get service, and players. And then we'll do players, the player added, colon, connect function, colon, connect function. And we're going to get the player. And what you want to do is um inside of your watch well, let's do this here so local two times uh clicks or uh times two clicks is equal to instance dot new and we're gonna create a uh Let's create an int value and times clicks dot name is equal to and we're gonna just set it to two times clicks times clicks and what we'll be doing now is parenting the two times click clicks value. Well, actually let's set its value first to two or oh, yeah two or actually one and two times clicks uh times clicks parent and we're gonna set its parent to the player uh plr and what we'll be doing now is actually checking if the player has the game pass so if mps dot, dot user owns or actually call it con user owns game pass async uh plr dot user id dot dot and we'll uh, actually put a comma sorry but a command you want to put your two times coins id so for me it's this random number on the link then 
two times clicks uh dot value is equal to two else we're gonna set that value to two two times clicks dot value is equal to one sorry not two and what we'll be doing is going back to our main script scroll all the way down to when we give the player a when we give the player uh clicks and we'll multiply that by well if i can actually find it where is the part where we where we give the player clicks all right it's here okay so okay where is that i can't find it Where is the part where we give the player clicks? Well, let's just search for plus equal. Okay, so it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. And it's not here. Okay, here it is, I think. okay so we finally find it found it uh yes in here so we're gonna multiply that by uh player dot uh two times clicks make sure it's spelled two times clicks right uh dot value and that should work so as you can see if i change the this to this let's see how much we'll be getting So, as you can see, let's make sure the music is turned off. Oh god, I'm going to get copyrighted again. But, let's see, you know that. So, we're gonna go to the store. Uh, we have the game pass, so we get five clicks. And that's because it does not work. So, two times clicks is not a valid member of Polaris Pro. Okay, so. Two times clicks, mm, the value is equal to two. Oh, okay, so here's the problem here. Instead of your game passes script, I want to change this to um, no parent. He messed up there. Uh, and I'm also going to change the uh, background music volume to zero so I don't get copyrighted. And if you go ahead and play the game this time, it should work. As you can see, we get five. You only get five. Uh, okay, so it's times clicks. It's set to two. But we only get five. Actually, we do get ten. Yes. It's just the pop-up that, that's messed up. Uh, so we'll easily fix the pop-up by just going on our script that actually pops up. That makes the pop up up up. Same so of this click thing. Five multiplied by that multiplied by Piala player dot uh, multi dot um uh two times clicks of value and now it should not be messed up anymore. Okay, so play the game now and you'll see it saying ten. Great. And if you don't own the game pass it will say uh five. Okay, so now we're gonna work on like two times gems game pass it's literally the same thing just go back to your game passes script and we're gonna create a two times uh what's it called gems two times gems gems and you want to put this two times gems two times gems two times gems the value is equal to one the parent is equal to plr and now what we'll be doing is checking uh remove this else and just put else if uh, or actually, just put if mps.user owns game pass, um, uh, user ID come out and you want to create another game pass, which is pretty simple. Just go there, create another game pass. Let's set it to this image again. Preview. Oh god, Discord messages are so annoying. Let me just go mute that. Alright, so I am back, and this time my Discord messages are muted. 
Uh, so we'll select our game pass, go to configure, uh, set the price to something like you like, uh, one Robux as always. Now we're going to copy the ID, which is the number on the link. I'm going to paste it here and you're going to set this two times gems. Top value is equal to two. It's that simple. Now what we'll be doing, you probably already guessed it by now. All you have to do is go to the, uh, to where you rebirth. So the rebirth, okay, so it's here. Uh, I'll put this in parentheses and we're going to multiply that entire thing by the player dot, uh, two times gems dot value. And that should be working by now. So just play the game and you'll see that it will actually work. So we have a two times gems value inside of here. That's two because we own the game pass. You can buy uh, the game pass from the store. And that's pretty much it. Let's try to rebirth. Rebirth, only rebirth 10, 4, 5,000. Okay, let's. Okay, I don't even have taps. Let's get some taps then. And let's see how this is. So let's just get 500 taps real quick. Rebirth. And now, as you can see, we did not get any gems. Or actually, we did. Yes, we did. And we don't have any errors. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you how to actually prompt the Game Pass purchase. So all you have to do, duplicate the two times clicks Game Pass thing. Rename it to two times uh, gems. And you want to change the ID. That's all you got to do. Put, the, put your ID here. Oh, oh God. Go to detail. Change that to your ID. And that should be it. Now, I think right now we're going to... What game passes do we need? Let's go check a tapping game. Like tapping gods or something like that. And we'll see what we have. Okay, so... We, we did do this two times plus equipped triple hatch uh, we don't have an x system uh plus 25 plus storage the jet back auto rebirth auto tapper y yeah we'll work on auto tapper the next episode it's pretty simple to do but i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helps make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next video bye